Hello, hello, day three here. The paint is completely dry and we're gonna put a coat of polyurethane before we go to the next level. So this is going to make the paint stick forever. I'm gonna create a semi-gloss semi finish. some spray adhesive What I have here is this uh, Dacron, um, basically this is the brand, okay, it's a beautiful thick Dacron, very, very stiff and uh, perfect for these seats, so it's a very thick and stiff layer. So we're gonna put this on the seat. what I'm doing what I'm doing I'm finding okay so I'm kind of forcing it down there Once again, let me show you exactly. So what I'm doing basically, I'm trying to get it right underneath this frame. So basically, you don't need to get it all the way across here if you don't have enough. All you need is just maybe half an inch or an inch to go underneath the frame just to get it stuck there. Just to get it secure. Now if you have another one, now if it's hanging a little lower, you can just stuff it underneath. 
¿Dónde está? This is why they were that the ladies, so that's why I cracked it. I split it by the, by the leg, and this one goes right underneath. See, this doesn't go all the way down, but it's okay because everything is going to be covered in fabric and you're not going to see anything. But this is going to be a comfort. Now, shove that on here. And now I have this here. Oh, let's see how I do that. So let me do this. Since I didn't cut this yet. Use the glue. And there you go. Again, right here, we can do a split. Oh, we don't have to, it's very small. This is, since this is very much on the edge, I'm gonna glue it extra, extra well. I wish I could find one piece so I don't have to do these joints, but unfortunately I didn't because I couldn't. I'm waiting for that to set really well before I move any further, since that's a very critical piece right there on the edge. So I let that dry super hard. Okay, as I'm waiting, I want to use this foam in here to fill up this channel right here perfect everything seems to be just right sometimes This is what we got so far. <laughs> Hard to see. I have to cut the. You know what's that over here actually? Let me see how I want to cut this. Hmm. Okay, so we can cut it, trace it around the phone, and then I'm gonna wrap another one in the front. It's getting darker and darker, darker and darker. I have to put that reinforcement lighting here. But as you can see, I turned the chair upside down. Um, so this, there you go, perfect. I, I turned this chair upside down so I can cut this uh, back background around it. And then I'll turn it again. I just want to make sure I get a crisp line. Right here. I 
Well, that's it. And then I'm gonna cut one more piece of wood in the front. Let's turn it around once again. I'm trying not to mess with that though. The sealer too much. Oh wow, what a nice cushion. Oh. Oops, heavy. So this is not that too hard. I need another corner there. I never did that lucky to finish completely how this looks like so far. And then I'm gonna cut right around the edge. And I might I might even give a few hand stitches to keep those together. So I need additional fabric right now. I'm gonna pick it up from there. So here I have an extremely strong polyester, leather, outdoor thread, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't break. So... So I'm just going to sew the edges. is very important by the way this will make everything comes together I recommend you don't skip this one okay so I'm gonna continue doing this at every seam I did and I'll see you after I don't want to keep me at getting a board with these stitches as I'm coming to the end here I want to show you how I'm doing this so I already came across this once and this uh, this this stitch is gonna be amazing for also uh, holding the glue in place and everything. So take the necessary steps guys. It's going to and I don't know if you notice but this uh, this long pin 
So basically, this is going to close the opinion and it has this angle. And then you have different ones that are very curvy on the ground. So once again, I'm not going to too tight. And as you can see, I'm not trying to get it from the very edge because I don't want it to break. So I'm, I'm doing about an inch from each side. An inch and an inch. Look at that beautiful nice crisp edge. So far, so good. I'm very happy. Um, then I'm going to put another layer of... So next is, uh, I have this felt fabric I'm going to put on top of everything. So I'm going to use this felt fabric here to go around. So I chose this one for a few different reasons. I, uh, I came to a conclusion that this felt fabric is going to be perfect for, uh, for, the, for the base. It's soft, it's stretchy, it's going to be a nice bond um, base. I'm placing my hand right there behind the cushion, all the way back, all the way in the back. That's all. Right here where the leg is, I'm going to make a little Mold it out and stretch it. So let me just hold this here first. I'm gonna put a few staples right there and I'm gonna stretch from the top.
So I hope you saw what I did. Basically, I staple everything right here on the first on the first wood. So let me refresh that to you what I just did. I took my hand on, underneath here and I, I brought this fabric all the way around here. So when we're gonna come with the main fabric on a seat, that's gonna come down here, going down, okay? And then with the back fabric, again, it's gonna come all the way down. So that's how you wanna tuck this fabric first up here. Now don't forget, I'm gonna feel all this with the phone. But right now, I'm gonna pull this really tight. I'm gonna pull this really tight and make it a nice, nice and tight. Now, you have to kind of distribute it correctly when you pull it, kind of pull it sideways. Oh, the shadows, the shadows look so bad. So we're just gonna follow the curve. Then we're gonna cut this extra. But before you do that, start cutting in here because it's hard to hard to go around. So like right here, you need to cut it down. Design. That piece is going to right in the center, so I'm going to have this half. I'm going to make it too thick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you remember, I took this off. By the way, I have to paint this black as well. But it's going to go on top, and uh, I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to build it up too much, so. Uh, Follow the whole design. Which was half from here and half from the other side on the bottom. Half from here and half from here. So, I like this fabric very much. It's stretchy, flexible. Perfect, perfect topic. So let me see how I do this. I'm just going to wrap it around just the way it looks. I know I'm coming to the end of this video, battery-wise and space-wise, so I'm just gonna try to make this really quick in here.
I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, another day completed. I'm gonna live like that, pretty happy with what I got. So far it's looking amazing. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, tomorrow I'm gonna take it from here. But yeah, this is what we got. This is what we got. I'm glad to see it coming together. You have no idea. You have no idea. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And good night, everybody. It's about 9.30 p.m. That's it for today. My office is becoming messier and messier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is my office for a few days. 